Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to, to imagine it's, it's been 10 years. I mean, parts of it seems like it was only yesterday. The pictures on the walls of David Griffin Jr.'s office tell a story of a calling answered. Like so many in the days and hours following the September 11th attacks, he too wanted to help out. It was a, a challenging task uh, emotionally, spiritually, physically, you know, the whole gamut with what we was having to deal with. City leaders placed his company, D.H. Griffin, in charge of the cleanup. Griffin managed the 31 contractors with more than 4,000 workers as they cleaned up the site. We had never seen anything like it. I mean, just, you know, the magnitude and the size of the site with, you know, the, the structures, uh, the building was still burning, and not to mention the loss of life and all the things we had to do with the custody and control of that. And when they finished... This is a corner column from, from Tower 1. And he brought back to Greensboro several tons of the destroyed building. We brought back about five tractor and trailer loads of uh, core beams, which was the main steel in the towers and some of the curtain wall from both towers one and two. Uh. Over the last 10 years, Griffin has given away about 100 of these steel chunks, along with several whole pieces to be used in memorials throughout the state. He hopes it will serve as a reminder so that people will never forget because it has been 10 years and it's easy for people to already forget, well, nothing like that could ever happen again. And if you forget, we could wind up right back there again. Reporting in Greensboro, Stephanie Stillwell, News 14, Carolina.